I say thank you guys for having us. We're delighted to be here. So we're Scrub AI and we are um, a data cleaning company. So as Don said, I'm going to be pitching today with my co-founders, Andrew and Alex. So Andrew's background is AI and machine learning and Alex is a full stack developer. So I just want to start off by zooming out and sort of really showing how big the data cleaning problem is. So in a quote from an industry leader um, very recently, they said there's two to $5 billion spent and wasted on data preparation and augmentation in the insurance industry every year. Um, and a lot of you will be familiar with TriFactor and heard of them. Their CEO said that data preparation is the biggest bottleneck in any analytic process, costing companies billions of dollars and slowing down time to insight. So I imagine a lot of you as well would have been hands on with the tedious data cleaning problem yourself. Um, they are highly repetitive and prevalent across industries. And the thing behind it is that the approach to the, the problem is very manual. Um, and as a result, it's expensive, it's time consuming, and it's also prone to human error. So the problem that we're focusing on initially is something that I had hands-on experience with um, cleaning. Um, and for this very specific use case in insurance, we estimate that $40 million alone is spent in Lloyd's solving this problem. Um, from there, we've identified several other problems in insurance where um, data cleaning is also a problem, for example, in claims and also other classes of business. And then into the wider financial services market, we estimate that $15 billion is spent on data cleaning. Um, and this is things that we've had hand on experience with ourselves. For example, um, and one of Andrew's previous roles was structuring data for analysis of non-performing loans. And then just to talk you through exactly how we've worked calculated our market size. So we've taken the roughly 30 million employees in the financial services market and um, conservatively suggested that they have 30K annual salaries. And we know they spend a third of their time every year cleaning data. So that gives us our $300 billion TAM. And from there, um, we've had look, look to see which of those tasks are automatable. And from there, we're really focusing on those tasks which we believe are ripe for automation. So I'm going to hand you over to Andrew and he's going to talk you through our solution. Thanks, Nicola. Um, so we're taking an AI first approach to solving these data cleansing problems. We're currently building a platform that can read and understand spreadsheets and transform them into your desired output format. So since our solution is automated, it's cheaper, faster, and we're already seeing it be more accurate than existing manual solutions. Um, so currently the way to connect to our intelligent backend on AWS is via an Excel add-in. But in the future, we hope to release an API and a web platform. So hopefully the user doesn't need, need to touch Excel. Uh, so the API will send back the cleanse data along with um, some simple reporting to kind of make the whole process transparent. And now I'll pass you on to Alex to talk through the business model. Thanks, Andrew. Um, so we've tried to keep the business model quite simple, both, both for us and for our customers. Um, so that's, that's looking like 10 cent per row, which on average is about $100 per spreadsheet. Um, and then we've looked at the accounts that we think we can target within the financial services market. And that's where um, we're getting our uh, total sum, sum from, from, from the previous slide. Um, and one thing that's important to note is that this pricing structure is actually quite similar to the way current outsourcing solutions um, structure it. Um, but critically, we're quicker, cheaper, and more accurate. On the next slide, we talk about some of the um, feedback we've had and some of the progress that we've made so far. So we've demonstrated the product as it is today to 18 insurance companies within the Lloyds market, so Lloyds of London. Um, and from them, we've received uh, letters of intent and NDAs, and with the NDAs, um, a heap of data, which we've trained our models on. Um, we did have one pilot lined up for essentially now, and we've actually had to push that back until after the Lloyd's Lab because we were happy to share that we've also been accepted to the Lloyd's Lab uh, Accelerator, um, which goes on for 10 weeks and will be done at the end of July. Um, at the bottom of the slide, you can see some positive feedback we have from early beta testers as well as um, from one of the letters of intent. Um, on the final slide now, I'm just going to talk about some of the investment we've had to date and what we expect to raise in the future. So we've uh, just closed out in the first quarter of this year, our pre-seed round uh, of £225,000. Um, and we anticipate to raise around double that, around £500,000 uh, 12 months later, so in the first quarter of next year. 
And um, we'd be really happy to start talking about that next round with you now, or also, you know, uh, reach out to us if you want to learn more about the solution. And um, so now Nicola, Andrew and I are here to answer any questions you have. Well, thanks for that, Nicola, Andrew and Alex. So the one question we have for you would be on technology, specifically how defensible is the technology and what's been done to ensure this can't be replicated? Uh, yeah, I think that's a really important question, Dom. Um, so the area of spreadsheet intelligence is uh, is a very under-researched area. So from the research that we've done, we know that there's only three other institutions that are actually looking into this. Um, so that includes Microsoft Research, also Dresden University in um, Germany, and also UCL. Um, and the way that we've approached this is we're applying recent breakthroughs in NLP and machine vision in, to spreadsheets, which is quite sort of novel in itself. Um, we're also delighted to have Andrew's old UCL professor on board as an advisor, and he's a complete ML guru. So um, he's very much at the forefront of, of the tech in the area, and he's helping us um, sort of apply the most recent breakthroughs where, it's, where, it's, where they're applicable. And then also my, my final comment, which I think is important to note, is that we were initially focused on sort of a very niche B2B um, problem. And as Alex said, we've managed to acquire hundreds of thousands of rows of data from insurance companies, which really isn't easy. Um, insurance companies don't give away data easily. So this, in combination with the fact that we'll be staying at the front of the tech and applying most recent breakthroughs, makes I think what we're doing really defensible.